Okay, so we're given an object that performs simple harmonic oscillation, covering a distance of 116 centimeters in one complete period of 2.15 seconds. We need to determine the maximum speed of the object, and we need to determine the maximum acceleration of the object. First off, let's look what I wrote in the top right corner here. We know our displacement vector equation is our displacement is equal to the amplitude times the cosine of our angular velocity times time. We know the period is equal to 2 pi over our angular velocity. If we look at what they gave us, they didn't give us a displacement value. They gave us, they didn't give us a displacement value. They gave us this. A total distance of 116 centimeters, or we could say 1.16 meters, equals our total distance in one period. One period. Now, we know that a displacement is a vector. Distance is a scalar. Displacement is the distance moved from the original point. The, if we were talking about the displacement of this object, it would be how much this, how many meters this object moved from its original point. So if it went to the full amplitude and back to the original point, then its displacement would be zero, but the distance would actually have a value. And I'll write what I mean by this. Let's say we have a mass. This is going to be our object. This is our spring. You're going to have to bear with me on my artistic skills. Well, going the left direction is way harder. All right. All right, this is our object. This is our spring. It's undergoing simple harmonic oscillation. And let's see what we really mean by one complete period. One complete period. So in one complete period, it's moving its full amplitude, and amplitude is the max displacement. One full complete amplitude out that direction, then one full complete amplitude back to the middle, then one full complete amplitude out to its max displacement, and then one full complete amplitude back to its original position. So it's actually moving four times the amplitude meters. And I'm going to go ahead and say meters because we already converted there. So four times the amplitude meters. And we know that in one complete period, it moved 1.16 meters. I'm going to go ahead and back to my red. So our amplitude equals 1.16 meters divided by 4, which equals 0.29 zero there 0 0.29 meters so our amplitude is 0 0.29 meters now where do we go from there well we know our for simple harmonic oscillation we have our velocity equals negative a times our negative amplitude times our angular velocity times the sine of our angular velocity times time. And we know our acceleration vector equals negative the amplitude times angular velocity squared cosine angular velocity t. Or I'll just start saying omega now. That's too much to say. 
Okay, so we know these two terms here at max values will equal 1. Will equal 1. So at max values, velocity will equal the amplitude times the angular velocity. And our max value for acceleration will equal the negative of the amplitude times the angular velocity squared. And we can ignore that negative sign because we're really not talking about the direction. We're just talking about we're just talking about basically the magnitude of these two vectors. All right, so we have amplitude. Now we need to just figure out what our omega is. What we see up here at the top, what I wrote down earlier, is our period is equal to 2 pi divided by omega. So let's write that again. Our period equals 2 pi over omega, which that, as we were given in our equation, equals 2.15 seconds. So that equals 2.15. 5 seconds. If we want to solve for omega here, we get 2 pi over 2.15 seconds equals omega, and this turns out to equal 2 point, roughly 2.92 radians per second. Okay, we have our omega. Let's go ahead and solve for our max velocity. Remember what I said? Max velocity, this whole sinusoidal wave function thing will equal 1. This cosine value will equal 1 because those are the max values of these two functions. So we're only left with for max velocity is the amplitude times the angular velocity. So what's the amplitude times the angular velocity? Well, we have an amplitude, let's look back up, of 0 0.29 meters times 2.5 two radians per second and this will give us a max velocity value of 0 0.847 meters per second Now for our max acceleration, we have the amplitude times our angular velocity squared. Well, our amplitude, again, is 0 0.29 meters. Our angular velocity squared is 2.92 2.92 radians per second squared, and this will equal 2 point, roughly 2.48 meters second squared. 2.48 meters per second squared. And I'll go ahead and box these. Whoops. So this is our max velocity. And this is our max acceleration.